Hey guys, today I show you how to edit free 60 footage with DaVinci Resolve for free. All you need is actually just a plugin to make your free 60 footage usable. So first thing we have to do is actually go into the internet and we go to reframe360.com. Um, if you hit the website, it looks a little bit like this. It's discontinued, but it's still working. And it's basically the plugin that you need for DaVinci Resolve. For DaVinci Resolve, this is the only thing I found that is free and actually working. So you basically go and yeah, get the beta and follow the insta installation advice. If you go on to C programs, there's two. You have the 86 maybe or 64 or whatever. You go into program files, the regular one, common files, then O. OFX and you click on that, don't change the name, go on plugins, throw it in there and you're good to go. You maybe have to restart your computer or restart the Vinci Resolve, but it should just work. Then the second thing you gotta do is like, you need some footage that you have for editing. So let's go in here, throw something in there and let's see what we've got here. Um, how about some chicken? So we've got the two clips. There's the front and the back camera and you basically want to stitch that together into one clip. We make just a little short example. Also, stabilization I would um, shut off if you're like biking or whatever and you have a lot of movement. You can tell in the distance trees are moving and give you weird artifacts with the stabilization. I would do that in the editing software way better. Um, yeah, so let's start exporting that. and. Like you can see, this will take a little second, but the good thing is like you only export one video and then you decide in the editing software um, what you want to show. And yeah, DaVinci 17 still works with that. So first I show you what doesn't work. Because like um, usually people are trying to start this and try to import some media. And here we have some 360 clips um, for the two lenses, it just doesn't read it, you know? And you're like, hey, I cannot edit with that. So what you wanna do is go to your video that you exported and it's a MP4, like you can see, this will take now a little second because I have the free version of DaVinci Resolve and it doesn't have the hardware acceleration. There's a little another thing that I will mention in a second what you have to do, but let's go on to color and see what to expect. So we open effects, reframe 360 is now there. And it's basically a plugin that you can throw onto your thing. So this is how it looks without the plugin. And like you can see, it's completely distorted in the corners. Doesn't really work well. But with the plugin, you basically can adjust what you want to show the viewer, what is really neat. So you have pitching on and yeah, basically all those things here. You basically can keyframe everything. The only thing I really want to show you now is though, if you go all the way down, you see this. This is a problem that will occur if you have the wrong setting for your timeline. So let's go back and fix that because this is a really easy fix. Like you can see, we just imported the footage. We didn't change anything or adjust anything. It's really important because the two lenses are stitched together and they're a little bit wider than standard. And how the timeline um, will be read by the reframe program or plugin is really determined on what settings you put for your timeline. Like you can see, this is now the standard settings that I have here. Didn't change anything. This will most likely happen to you too. So you go on this, so you can actually change it and it scale the entire image to fit, but you want to stretch it to all corners. And that basically, voila, gets rid of that. Um, it's a little bit less distracting, but you still see a little bit of a stitch line, but overall it's just better. So let's go back into the settings and we can zoom around and everything will work. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.